Hey, this is Brandon from Sweater Cat Designs, and in this Inkscape lesson, we're going to create a barbell icon. But before we begin, I just wanted to let you all know that I'm currently having a big sale on my new Inkscape Hyperdrive Master the Fundamentals course. In this course, I'll show you everything you need to know to start creating amazing artwork in Inkscape today. You can find more information and links to the course in the description below. Okay, let's first switch to the Circles and Ellipses tool, hold Control, and create a circle in the page. And we can zoom in some by holding Ctrl and scrolling up the mouse wheel. Now let's open the Fill and Stroke dialog with this button up here. And I'm going to tweak the color of this a bit. Next, let's click in the canvas to deselect everything. Let's choose another color. I'll go with a gray. Now let's create an oval in here. I'll make this a desaturated blue. Now let's switch to the select tool and duplicate this oval with control D. Let's make this one darker. Now let's hold control and drag it to the right some. And let's zoom in a bit more. Next we're going to create a path connecting the tops and bottoms of these ovals. For this we need to turn on snapping up here, drop this down, go to the advanced mode, and make sure we have snapping to smooth nodes turned on here. Now we can switch to the pen tool. Snap to this quadrant point here, then over to this one, down here, then to this one, and back up here to close it off. We can then switch to the select tool, hold shift and click the left oval, then turn these into a single path by going to path, union. Okay, now let's select the oval on the right, and duplicate it with control D, then turn it white, hold control and shift and shrink it down a lot. And we can hold control and move it to the right some. Let's go ahead and turn off snapping for now. We're going to use this for creating the barbell's handle a bit later. Let's now select one of the larger ovals, then shift click the other one. Let's group them together with control G. Then we can duplicate it with control D, hold control and move it to the left some. Then click this lower one step button up here twice to put it below the white oval and the other group. Then we can hold control and shift and scale this up. I'll also hold control and move it a bit more to the left. Let's duplicate again, hold control and move it to the left, then click the lower one step button until it's below the other plates. I'll leave this one the same size as the center plate, but feel free to make yours bigger. I'm going to select all of these objects, hold control and shift and scale them down some. Now let's select the small white oval here and duplicate it, then hold control and move it to the left. This will be for the part of the handle sticking out from the plates. Let's now select all of these objects and duplicate them. Then click this button up here to flip them horizontally, hold control and move them to the right. Next, let's work on the handle. Let's first turn snapping back on, switch to the pen tool, snap to this quadrant point here, then this one over here, then this one, this one, and back up. Now we can shift click the two white ovals and go to path, union. Let's click this raise selection to the top button here. Let's switch back to the pen tool, snap to this quadrant point over here, then hold control and click somewhere in here, then click the right mouse button to finish the path. Now let's click the handle of this path here, snap to the quadrant point down here, hold control and click in here, then close off the path. Now we can select the path and the oval, and union them together. Then move it below the plate. Let's perform all of these steps for the other side. To pan, I'm holding down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. We can select all of these objects and group them together with Ctrl G, then we can hold Shift and Ctrl and resize it if we want. Next we're going to use the bend path effect to give a bend to the barbell. Let's first turn off snapping, then let's go to path, path effects to open the path effects dialog. 
Then click the plus button down here and choose bend here. Now let's click this button here that says edit on canvas. This gives us a green line going across the object, which lets us bend it. However, this doesn't let us get a very accurate result, and it also warps the plates quite a bit. So let's undo that with Ctrl Z, let's select these two nodes at the ends of the green line, then click this button up here to insert a new node between them. Let's select just the new node, then click this button up here to turn it into a symmetric node. Now we can hold Ctrl and drag this node up to bend the barbell more accurately and with less warping. We can also hold Ctrl and drag one of these handles out to spread out the bend more. Now we can apply the path effect by going to Path, Object to Path. Finally, we can add a long shadow to the barbell. But first, let's switch to the Select tool and shift click the background circle, open the Align and Distribute dialog with this button, and with the last selected chosen in this box, let's align them vertically and horizontally. Okay, let's zoom in more over here, then turn on Snapping and switch to the Pen tool. Now we want to snap to the path of this part of the handle here. Let's hold Control to get a 45 degree angle and bring it down inside the plate here. Now let's click up here, then close off the path. Next, let's snap to the path of the plate here. Hold Control to get a 45 degree angle and click down here outside the circle. Bring it over here, then up to the center part of the handle here. Back through here, and close it off. Now let's snap to the path of this plate up here. Hold Control, and click outside of the circle down here. Then let's click here, then click down here past this other path, bring it up here, and close it off. Now we can snap to the path of this plate. Hold Control and bring it down to the handle, then back to the left and close it off. Okay, let's switch to the Select tool and select all of these paths we just created. Shift click the red X down here to turn off the stroke. Let's make the fill color black. Now let's turn them into a single path by going to Path, Union. Then click the lower one step button to put it beneath the barbell. Let's go to the Fill and Stroke dialog and lower its opacity. Finally, let's select the circle, duplicate it with Ctrl D, shift click the shadow, and go to Path, Intersection. And now we have our finished barbell icon. Great work today guys, and as always, thanks for watching.